welcome on back. We're going to do a much shorter, succinct Minecraft musings. Um, as I was able to find the Colorado uh, standardized education, it's the standards. It's not the, the curriculum. I don't know. It's, it's kind of hard to find if you're just looking for, like, you know, what's the curriculum? What's there? But, I mean, I guess it is the standards and... Yeah, so I was just looking at it, and it's pretty lengthy. It's pretty explanatory. Oh, we're already at. Oh. So we need to mine some. Let's see. But anyways, um, and I saw a computer science in grade two. So I was just curious. I was looking around. saying like, you know, but it wasn't grade two. They actually, they tell you that they require it for high school but it's it can be taught at any level in you know pre-k through 12 and if you're not familiar with the u.s uh we start with preschool and then kindergarten and then first grade second third all the way up through 12th which is when you graduate high school and that's all that public school is required and i know i used to watch a lot of trailer park boys and they talk about like oh you got his grade 10 or something and like I don't know, so I think it's similar to ours, but I don't, I mean, I don't know, is that a lot, is that a little, like, <laughs> like that one Rick and Morty where he's like, I don't know what that is, is that a lot, is that a little, with the 25 schmeckles, or, is it 25 or shit, 75, anyways, it doesn't matter, uh, some form of currency, and some amount of it, and you know, especially if you're gonna travel the world and be comfortable in other situations, you need to just be like, okay, so so much of this, it doesn't really matter what it's called, you know, this and that. If you're going to a lot of countries, you know, then you just have to need to know. It's more important to focus on other things, like maybe speak a little bit of the language or, I don't know. But from a computer science standpoint, it doesn't matter. Variables change, the names can change, the, the things that you're comparing or controlling change. But the underlying algorithms and the concepts stay the same. So, like, if you're trying to store or look up or say, yeah, you know, store, retrieve, or look up. That's about the main things, that everything can be communicated through that, and through ones and zeros data. Ah, it's a trip, but anyways, and then you also have mathematics, so looking at the the standardized stuff they do, they focus on counting first, and then addition, subtraction, and then I could al almost say, like, basic algebra, I mean, in early grade school, because the way they teach, uh, they do, like, these T, or what was it? I forgot what they called it, but they, they had a whole name for it, and it was basically like, or the mountains, there you go, it was like the mountains, the number mountains, or the math mountains, and you were finding the unknown, and you were us either using subtraction or addition to find the middle part, like what you needed to add or subtract to get to the other one. Well, that's basic algebra. <laughs> like, you're trying to find x, and you have the left side equal to the right side, like a, there you go, y equals mx plus b, like the old slope formula or the, yeah, the formula of a line so y equals mx plus b, b is the x-intercept, so where it intercepts the x-axis, right? yeah, where they cross, and then anyways things that I would want to like look up before I started speaking with any authority on it. These are just musings. These are, you know, like I said, a much shorter one because I was wanting to say like I found it. That could have just could have just been a link in the first video, but you know, I guess strive for excellence. I uh, basically talk about a little bit of it because that's why I say Minecraft is so good for all of that stuff because counting and then kind of you know I have so much of this and it doesn't matter what it is I have this and then I need so much of this to get that. So, I mean, granted, you really should know specifically what it is. And to a point. I mean, to have a general idea of it is probably the most useful, bec because then you can use the wealth of knowledge that is Google to fill in the gaps. Although that's not saying that it's, you know, you can rely on that all the time. Just like how they say, uh, people used to say, well, you're not going to have a calculator with you everywhere you go so you need to learn math. Well, now we do with our phones, but at the same time, it's still important to be able to do certain math in your head, or at least to be able to check things. I mean, especially if you're dealing with money or anything like that, like, you need to be able to just kind of get a fair assessment of, okay, is that a lot? Is that a little? Like, you know, like Rick and Morty was saying, like, I don't know. Like, but, and especially if you're going to travel, because you need to know, like, one country might be thousands of something, the other country might be, you know, just a couple, and then you know, what's the exchange rate, what are you actually paying for things, and then you can make better judgments. 
how much of this have I been missing out on? Just realized that. I should probably go check. Let's see where else are there? I mean, there's that one, but. Okay. That was kind of the point of going down here was getting iron for the railway for. Yeah, so I'm dragging my feet. I gotta do the dishes and then. I don't know if I'll actually like do any like recording tonight. Just I mean, aside from musings and just thinking about it, talking about it, not doing it. Yeah, I also like doing the jam boards, making the planning. But oh, that's basically what it is. It's trying to see what there is a need of too. So I guess what I'd really do is just go down through the list and start giving examples of all of it, and then you know, I feel oh, I was gonna say I feel like this is like Billy Madison. So any Adam Sandler fans out there, you already know that Billy Madison is a it's a movie where this very wealthy kid is about to inherit his, his dad's company, or his family's company. Notice how I say dad, that's pretty chauvinistic. Anyways, um, my point being is he goes back, or he has to prove that he can do school legitimately, not with like the teachers paid off that just kind of passed him along and allowed him to graduate because of who he was. And, you know, they basically bought his way, <laughs> like bribed his teachers all through school. But anyways, um... And that's important. Like, you don't want to be blindsided with that. Like, you know, that's why charity is so hard. And it shouldn't be thought of as charity. It should be philanthropy. And, like, you know, like, just wanting to do good for the greater good. And make sure that, you know, people are okay. Like, all people. Not just, you know. Because people are people. And I was starting to touch on that on the last one. Like, you know, people doing bad things aren't necessarily, like, monsters. you got to look at, like, why are they doing this? Is there, like, a motive? Is it a business thing? Is it, you know. And that's why I like watching Breaking Bad over and over. Because it's, like... You know, talking about it's such an illegal industry, but then at the same time, like, a lot of their stuff you could still say happens in, you know, good business, quote-unquote good business. Like, not necessarily like gangsters, like, killing each other, but like, you know, making decisions that could impact an entire civilization, you know, poison people. Like, that's the whole Aaron Brockovich story, where um, something was happening where... Uh, there was poisoning, it was like around like a marsh or something, it's been a while since I've seen it, but basically the idea was is some company was doing something they shouldn't have been doing and dumping chemicals somewhere or their product was actually harmful or, you know, whatever the case may be, which is why, you know, we're trying to deal with all of this climate change stuff and there's arguments back and forth, I've seen a lot of it, like the anti is just saying like, oh, it's a scam, they're trying to, you know, the climate scam and all this, and it's like, no, no, they're actually measuring, you know, higher temperatures, degrees and you know, basic understandings of science points to that. And then when you have the leaders of science all, you know, pretty much unanimously. Although then, like, there, I've seen some articles. Sorry, I, I do this back and forth every time I try to make a claim on Twitter. Because you got to kind of be your own worst critic. you got to be the devil's advocate. Like, you know, you got to try to poke holes in your own statements. Because otherwise you could look pretty foolish. Especially if you're someone who people are used to not looking foolish. Yeah, you know, wrap your mind around that. <laughs> like, once you set precedent that you're a very smart person, then they're gonna expect you to be a smart cookie every time, you know. And it's, it's interesting, but I mean, and people are people too. It's not like I don't know. I feel like uh, Leonard's mom, how she's constantly analyzing Leonard's behavior and like experimenting with what works and what doesn't. And I almost feel like all parents are kind of doing that. Like, am I doing good? Like, constantly giving themselves performance reviews and seeing, like, you know, maybe I didn't do the best that I could have that day. Maybe I'll try better the next. And and that's stuff you learn from, like, recovery and stuff. And, like, I don't know. And it's, yeah, it's problem solving. Problem solving with a human element. Which, I mean, a lot of, like... A lot of disciplines kind of blend anyway. There's like human user experience, user interaction. You know, you got to think like, okay, this software works or this this tool does a really amazing thing, but is it usable? Like, I mean, is it like, are you gonna be able to sell that because people don't want to have to work too hard to do things? If it's supposed to be a miraculous tool, then what's the point of it if it's not a miraculous tool? So, and that's where we're just you know, it, until we're not stuck on money, basically. 
Like, once you reach a point where everybody's comfortable with, like, a generally accepted way of living and, like... And I think we're getting closer to that, to that too. Like, we're definitely getting the uber-rich, which is getting ridiculous, but... And I, whenever I see things, like, people putting so much money into cars and... I don't know, for whatever reason, for whatever, like, mental thing going on there, like, trying to satisfy a childhood craving that maybe they grew up poor. I just watched uh, The Machine, so... Well, I don't want to spoil it, but basically the gist of it is, like... How did one act turn someone to crime so... There we go, being vague enough. <coughs> like, the origins of an entire mob family based on one thing. Like, so... It was, it's just things to take note to. Like, you know, human nature is... is important to analyze and to learn from. And then also to fix moving forward. And so, it's like, you know, we do all these things, we ana analyze, we assess, we try to figure out what the best course of action is, and then we, we go with it. So, like I said, I found the actual curriculum for school, and maybe that might be a thing, is just like, just do a, a streaming event with my buddy, and like, we'll just, like, go through all of it, every last bit, <laughs> and then drone on about it, say our two cents, look it up, like, you know, t basically teach how to learn. Like, because that's the biggest thing in computer science is Google Foo. And I've, I've mentioned that a lot, like, because it is. And we have all of this knowledge at your fingertips that's been peer-reviewed. Like, if it's not on Google... Okay, let me back up a little bit. If it's high up on the rating of Google, there's a few reasons for that, a few potential reasons. So I don't want to say, like, just because you see it on Google doesn't mean it's true. Like, that's definitely, like, you should always be cautious of everything you read and hear to a point. But then when you start seeing things, like, if you can find a lot of sources, like, that's generally how I, I kind of tend to trust in something. If, like, I see a lot of multiple people, but then that could be faked, too. Like, you could get an army of people to write, like, you know, the moon really is cheese, and then get a lot of websites saying, ah, yes, indeed, it's actually a Gouda variety, or, you know, like, supplemental sources just confirming it. And that's how you get, like, massive social engineering. Like, I'd say, like, macro social engineering is a nefarious nature. Oh, well, again, just watch, like, Better Call Saul. <laughs> like... <laughs> I love those two shows because it does it shows just like insane levels of human ingenuity like to the point uh, well I mean it doesn't seem very realistic because there were entire teams of writers around for that but oh let's see I want to get that iron I'm going to die ah, that could be death that would be death alright so oh no just make sure, because, like, I can't see. And then, I think it's this one. Just don't stand up. That's it. That's, took me a while to learn that, like, ah! You gotta be careful with water, too. And I was standing up. Whew! I was gonna say, because I think it, yeah. You stand up and, ah! No, 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 no. Ah! Ah! Oh! Did I get the iron? <laughs> Shoot. And this is why it's so dangerous doing mining things and stuff. Like, look at that. Like, there's water upon water. Like, okay, I'm out. You know, it's not worth it. I'm gonna die down here. I'm gonna lose everything. Yeah. I'm a, I'm done. Plus, I thought I saw some more iron over here. Like, yeah. And some mushrooms. No, assessing risks, risk and readjusting. Maybe I'll come back one day. I don't know. But until then, I don't know. So maybe that's something to do. Like, I still have to do the two videos. There's still two subjects for the GED. And that's, like, the initial thing. But I almost wonder how much help is really out there, too. So that should be something that I kind of do some reconnaissance on and just, like, see what the actual need is. You know, see a need, fill a need. Well, if I'm already reinventing the wheel multiple times, and I know there's people that you can pay out there to, like, even private tutor you and, like, but it's tricky. It's very tricky. That's why I like to think like even watching these like kind of like, you know, it's pretty pointless videos. You still learn something. Mixture of human nature, science. Well the science was pretty cool. Like uh being able to reason, like uh, I was still looking at like second grade, like the entire body is made of cells and be able to show reasoning of why they function in the way they do. And I don't remember a lot of that. Like, you're thinking back of, like, things like Magic School Bus. That was one of the big things 
I, I think we used to watch that sometimes, like when the teacher was out sick or whatever. It's like reel in the TV and show some magic school bus. Because, I mean, it, that is basically it. Like, and same like, uh, I remember I did a science project for my third grade science fair on photosynthesis. So that was where the bar was. Um, oh, I need some wood. And not like I won or anything, but like that's what was competition worthy. Yeah. I was looking at some examples of my own kiddos, because yeah, I'll say in grade school, we won't go deeper than that, but I mean, like, let's see here. See how easy it is to go back and forth around here. So, alright, there we go, and then. Here we go. So there's this big standardized list. So, oh, there's the alarm. Actually, yeah. Yeah, and it's got everything from... <clears throat> so you see, high school is where computer science really pops up. But then... I don't know, because I'm just thinking about, like, what, like, yeah, our kids here, everyone, you know, who suffered from COVID, like, basically try to make it, like, easy-ish like a general overview of all the concepts and then I don't, actually I don't know as I say that as if you're looking at it well then you get into like drama and dance and you can't really I guess you could kind of like teach some stuff about that talk about that but like I don't know I think practicing streaming and making videos like it makes you better for public speaking organizing your thoughts I say a lot of dumb stuff in these so I don't know if it's great but I mean, I have got, had to give a couple speeches now, so. Um, not long speeches. Like, very short. Uh, anyways, we'll call that good. I'm sorry, I'm just looking back at this website. Like, yeah, it's the cde.state.co.us slash standards and... Let's paste this somewhere and actually see it. I mean, I'll just email it to myself and then copy-paste it. But for those curious, <clears throat> yeah, standards and instruction slash guides to standards. There you go. So, it's really lengthy, but that's it. That lays out, no, I'll put that in the description. There we go. But that basically lays out every grade, every learning objective, everything. So... I don't know, because originally I was just doing a bunch of coding stuff on camera to get a job, but now that I have a job, I kind of want to keep going and just, like, help out teaching. But not to take away, you know, any, anyone could do this razzle-dazzle, and if you're applying to a job, then you could say, hey, these are some videos I made. Here's some evidence that I know what I'm talking about. So, and I just needed a broad understanding of programming because I wasn't going for anything like senior level. At the same time, you know, and I do IT, so that's even kind of the funny part, but... Um, where you only need about scripting understanding um, you might get into some more complex stuff <sighs> sorry it just depends on how many hats they want you to wear uh -huh, I like the lever houses now they look pretty nice alright well now let's do a full half hour Is it 12 minutes because now I'm all intrigued thinking about that like you know just what you can do Let's see, we gotta adjust the thing for the thing. We'll go to we've got what, just another ten minutes. Yeah, ten eleven. Close. Anyways. <clears throat> it's funny because I am definitely teaching my kids programming, but not a lot. Like, I mean, we do the scratch programming and like and even that, like we don't go too heavy into it. They've made a few things. I don't I'm trying not to push them like they're, and especially looking at that, like, you know, they, they need to be focusing on this other stuff. They got enough going on. But that's how they earned money for chores at my house. It was like, you know, you did this thing, you learned this thing, you know, you get some money, basically. Like, paying them to learn. I don't know. But I want to give that to everybody. Like, I mean, I think, you know, I want to do the... Sorry, these are the, the ideas, currently. Like, I want to do a kid's channel where... Start off by how to tie your shoe. Like, that was one of my, I mean, it was important. I taught my kids how to tie their shoes. And it didn't take much. I mean, 
like it took a while for us to actually like sit down and do it but once we did like um yeah took a couple of sittings but basically the way that i did it was the same way i learned how to teach processes and building wind turbine blades and i won't go into those because proprietary and all that stuff i don't even know if explaining the process of teaching is really proprietary but I can at least say it was like a, a basic combination of visual learning, instructional learning, uh, if you want to throw a couple of like categories at it, but basically you, you told them, you showed them, you had them do it, you had them show you, and you know, you do it a certain number of times, I don't know if that's even being vague enough or anything, but anyways, that's the point of it, and, like, and that's how you really want to teach anybody how to do something, like talk about it, you know, do a little planning, and, and this, it was very similar when I was learning how to code in my cybersecurity boot camp, like, and without giving away too much, because I don't want, well, and see, that's where it's like, I want to teach all these things, but I definitely don't want to take business away from the actual educators, the people that make this their life, you know. But at the same time, like, you know, there's kids out there that can't really afford the professional educators, so should they be left behind? No, uh, no. So it's a fine line, and that's why, like, copyright and stuff is such a, copyright infringement and all that stuff is important, too, like, being, well, one, being knowledgeable about it so you don't get in trouble and get arrested, but two, because it is, like, someone's livelihood. Granted, I say that, but I don't have a lot of pity for, like, you know, very rich uh, Hollywood stars because a movie might net them millions, you know, and then it's like, well, you know, you did a really good job there, but did you wor do millions of dollars worth of a good job? I mean, is that going to be... Granted, some stuff you could argue is entertaining generations for generations, like... You know, a lot of the old mobster films and stuff, but it's going to be funny when, well, if, but when uh, humanity doesn't have a need for that, when people aren't all depressed and, like, they get really excited about, you know, overcoming the adversities of that degree. Like, I guess that's kind of like history of, through history, like stories, you know, the prince and the pauper, like, oh, the grass is always greener on the other side. Well, not really, no. I don't know, well, we just got way off a tangent there. Had no real specific things going, but yeah, grade school and stuff. Puzzling. I mean, that was all about mazes when I was a kid. Like that should be. Well, I suppose it is available, but how do you make it to where? So they probably have maze books at the library, right? And I did just go to the library recently, so like, you know, it's there is a lot of stuff there, but I wonder. I'd have to see. Google Foo. Like, right now I could just look it up on the phone, but... I don't know. Really, internet, though. Because, like, that was one of, the, one of the big differences when I was growing up. Like, we finally got dial-up um, at a certain point, but if you think about, like, educating kids around the world, people around the world, bringing everybody to the same level or, like, similar, like, try to give everyone equal footing. Like, yeah. I don't know. Then you lose identity, and then you get into the whole um, South Park idea of like where there's just one global people, and they're all like the mix. And yeah, South Park has some pretty scary. Uh... Also, I'm gonna go to sleep. Yeah, and I gotta go do dishes. <laughs> but good planning session. Good. I don't know if we really accomplished anything, but. I don't know. Yeah, it's still all working towards something. Like, how do you translate? stuff down to where someone can understand it. I think that's why I got all excited doing that because I used to explain computer science stuff to someone whose English was a second language, which I'm not saying I did a great job. Like, I mean, like, they, they learned it. They got good grades, but, like, could it have been done better? Yeah, absolutely, if it was done in their language. So that's why I love Google Translate to where you can at least write most of it, but it's not perfect. And so I'm going to try to start learning Arabic, but... Ugh. It's daunting because it's like, you know, you learn to re go one way and then you got to go backwards the other way. Or what's backwards to you? Which, again, even more impressive that I had friends in college that could speak backwards, basically. They could read forwards and backwards. They're like, yeah. So, I don't know. Something to think about. Anyways, I got to go do the dishes. What time are we at? It's 24. Let's go back and forth. All right. Dang, I was gonna say this, this village is pretty interesting. It's just got like the random, yeah, like that. It's been ripped apart. Then 
this part of the music. <laughs> okay, yeah, I need to get outside or something. Oh no, that's another part though, physical education. And that was really big, you know, back home. Of course, doing sports and stuff, because there really wasn't a whole lot going on. And uh, Granted, actually, everyone should be doing some sports. But a lot of it's like a question of... Ugh. Are the, both of the parents around? I mean, there's a lot of different factors that... You know, we're finding out quickly that take keep parents away from their kids. And so, there's a lot of work being done to counter that. Uh, basically, that's why... Uh, without going too much into specifics, I always feel like a walking billboard for D.A.R.E. or whatever. But, like, you know, that was a program that was eh, somewhat successful, somewhat failed, where cops would come into the school and talk about things. But, and again, the kids watching this, we don't need to worry about that. But... We need to worry about the problems that could lead to that. Like, why would people want to, um, hmm, without going too much into detail. Yeah, because it is, like, taboo. Like, oh, don't talk about it, but at the same time. Yeah. And that's why I don't have a kid's channel yet. Oh, that's why I don't do musings for, yeah, yeah even as I say that. Well, we keep it PG, parental guidance, so, which means, you know, I don't know, yeah, I'd have to stay on topic, on point, if I was going to do the streams about, like, well, of course, I mean, because I'd be expecting the audience to be kids of that, of that age, so, and then, yeah, just go through each one, or better yet, like, I mean, inspire others to do that, I wonder if there are streamers out there, or videos, in fact, maybe... Actually, let's look it up right now. It's all right. I mean, this is what we would be doing if I was streaming, and I'm thinking about kicking off the streaming to do this kind of stuff, but let's see. Oh, wait. So we're looking at YouTube. I don't know. What even to search for? Like, grade school? Um, tutoring. The biggest mistake tutors make in their first lesson. One-on-one <coughs> -on -one private tutoring. Some tips and thoughts. Hmm. Tutors in like your local area. How to structure a tutoring session. So this is how to tutor. But now, like, I, I guess we want to be specific. Like, grade one. Uh, grade ten maths. <laughs> grade ten English unit ten. Physics chapter Let's do Colorado Public School Education. What's all this kind of deteriorating public schools? This is, oh, yeah, funding needs, news things. Okay, no, that's not. So, what would you even search for that? I wonder. Like. Math explained. Math help. Or math education. There you go. Education videos for grade one. There we go. First grade math. Homeschool pop with millions of views. Monster Math presents Edition Below 10. Okay, class. Let's begin. What is 5 plus 3? We can solve the problem by counting on. We start with a bigger Oh, number. this is an ad. And then we count on. Five, six, seven, eight. Well done. Now okay, so that's an ad for something that you pay wow, for. Wow, we are going to learn so many cool things on this homeschool pop video. All right, what's the first thing we should learn? I don't know about all this. Okay, I could see it. So anyways, yeah. 
might not even be an issue. Sorry, that's some hard to swallow pills right there. Alright, so what we need is to get computers and internet to all the kiddos to where they could learn this stuff. And that was one of the things, one of the main points that I kind of picked up. Sorry, I was watching this video about this African village where uh, he made a wind turbine. Anyways, basically, the point is, is like, a lot of it, the stories, like, um, how they needed light. They needed light so they could study late at night, and then they needed money to pay the school to get the education. And so just these different barriers to success and barriers to even just basic needs getting met. And so, and that's like the whole thing I'm on about is like, if we can just make sure everybody's basic needs, doesn't matter if you're rich or poor, too, everybody's basic needs should just be met. I mean, food, shelter, education, all that stuff. Like, granted, you should still work and do stuff, but I mean, nobody should be without these things. And so, and I feel like, well, then you just get into, like, the, the root cause of it, greed and, you know, all this other stuff, but, well, greed and substance use, basically. Anyways, cheery thought to end on, um... But there are, yeah, sorry, so that means that there are a lot of educational videos out there, so that's good to know. Because now I'm like, well, now i got to rethink these projects. <laughs> and it is all free. I mean, worst thing, you got to, like, wow, yeah, there's a lot of them, too. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of garbage out there. Anyways, all right. I'm going to pivot and adjust. I mean, at least I know I am getting a red key USB here in, like, a month or so. I think that's what it's supposed to ship out, but basically with those things, you can wipe old computers, approach companies, offer to let them use the red key, donate some of their old computers, start hooking up people. But then you got to get into the problem of do they have electricity, do they have power? That's one thing this article I was reading about was saying beware of trying to donate to other countries because if they don't have electricity or good electricity, or like, I mean, sorry, like a stable setup to where they aren't like paying all of their money to, you know, just have this computer running and whatnot. Like, it's, it has to be viable. So you can't just dump a bunch of tech somewhere. You have to build the infrastructure first. And first, before you can even get to that, you need to make sure their basic needs are met. So food, water, shelter, and especially in disaster areas, natural or human caused. Like, I, I did study Darfur, you know, the Darfur child soldier conflict. I want to say it's in Sudan, but, I mean, it's irrelevant because a lot of these countries, and that's why movies like Lord of War and so are so important because then you get it like a, it's like a, an overview idea of what's going on. You can look at the specifics. It was like power struggles of Laquena, and then, yeah, it's just <sighs> finite resources are the illusion of finite resources. And they're sitting on a bunch of gold mines, literally. But, I mean, which is kind of like how people are skeptical of China coming in and helping them because then it's like, oh, how are you going to pay for it? Well, we're going to take some of this stuff. But you do have to pay for it somewhere or another. Like, we aren't, we aren't to the point of complete charity yet, but I don't know. After watching movies like the other guys, I feel like, I don't know, I do kind of feel like a communist. I mean, it makes sense. Like, ha everybody has, although everybody starves together, rises together, or falls together, stuff like that. There's all sorts of different isms studying, but we've gotten to the point where we've got people just completely loaded with money. And then other people who, you know, it is spreading, though. Anyways, I'm going to stop rambling. We went on for a whole half hour. Ta-ta for now. And I will see you in the next one.